Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add a new user account on your Windows XP computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the Start menu, select Run, type in C-O-M-P, M-G-M-T dot M-S-C, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, C-O-M-P-M-G-M-T dot M-S-C, select OK. And now on the left side, let me first make this window a little bit wider here, of course. And we want to go and double click on the local users and groups. And then do the same thing for the users folder, or just select it one time. On the right panel here, you want to right click in a blank area and select new user. Now at this point, go ahead and enter in the username. So you can enter in whatever username you want. And then if you want to type in a full name, you can. You don't have to. If you want to have a password, you can go ahead and set that up. Otherwise, just leave it blank if you don't want there to be any password on here. And I'm going to uncheck the option to user must change password at next login. And I'm also going to check mark password never expires. So let's create and now close out of here. You see our new account has been created. So if we go ahead and log out, we can either switch user or just go ahead and log off here. And we should see our other user account. So just give it a moment here. And you see our other user account is now presented in the list that we just created. It may take a couple seconds additionally to actually start up because it's the new user account. But that was pretty much it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.